You should stop playing Jaeger and start playing Lamai, and here's why. What's up guys, my name's Alka and I'm recording another video for the Astralis R6 channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over things like Lamai's loadout, basic stuff for him, operator tips, and at the very end of the video, I'm going to go over some gameplay clips, so make sure you stick to the end for that. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get straight into the video. So for Lamai's loadout, he has the option between the MP5K and the AUG-A2. Now the MP5K has a lower amount of damage, but a higher amount of fire rate with the option of a 1.5 times scope. The other option is the AUG-A2. Now it does have higher damage and lower fire rate, and it doesn't have the option between the 1.5 but it's a lot more comfortable of a gun for certain players. Personally, I run the MP5 because of the 1.5, but either or is fine. And it's the same thing with the secondary guns. You have the option between the Keratos and the P12. The P12 has less damage, higher fire rate. The Keratos has higher damage, lower fire rate, but it also only has six bullets compared to the 15 bullets of the P12. So again, hit or miss, whatever you want. The Keratos can make very large holes in walls for head holes, feet holes, etc. So personally, that's what I run, and I love the high amount of damage for a secondary. And then he has the secondary gadgets of either impacts or proximity alarms. Proximity alarms are good if you kind of just want more info and you're not heavily info oriented as it is. And then impacts are great just for more sight variation. You can have obviously rotates, impact tricking for the wall, damage dealers in general. So it just depends on what you want. This is the first operator that I've talked about at least where anything goes with this loadout. You can pick anything you want. Personally, I just run the MP5, the Keratos and the impact grenades if you kind of want somebody to tell you what is the best. That's my personal opinion. All of that loadout nonsense out of the way, I'm going to bring you into a custom game, give you the basics of Wamai and some tips and tricks along the way. So I brought you into Cafe, which I personally think is a great Wamai map because there's not a lot of horizontal space, but there's a lot of vertical space. Why is this good for Wamai? Because people nade through horizontal space and it takes a lot of control because they're able to break utility extremely easily and Wamai negates that. Now, what does Wamai do? He has this little disc thing called a magnet that he can place and throw anywhere he wants to, just like that. Now, I don't know if you saw, but when you place the Wamai magnet, there's a white ring that appears. That's the radius of effect that grenades can get caught through it. And anything that hops in that white radius gets pulled into it, any projectiles, I mean. So grenades, Capital bolts, Sophia stuff, gridlock stuff, A stuff, anything gets pulled into that Wamai magnet. Now, where do you put these Wamai magnets? You wanna put them in places of high traffic attacker areas. What does this mean? So anywhere that you know attackers are going to be and going to be sending projectiles through is where you're going to put magnets. So a very high traffic area is ticket window because they're trying to get the shield that's typically right here on pixel. Pixel is this huge square area right here, which is typically also where you're going to play Wamai on this site. So they're gonna be on this window, they're gonna open this wall and be playing inside of Ticket right here, and they're going to try to get the shield off. How can you mitigate that? Well, first of all, if they're not going for the wall and they're just going for the window and you somehow know that, you can put a one my disc right here, you can come into here, put one behind the couch, put one on the chandelier, you can put one for these windows right here, I'm just showing you kind of a rough idea of where I would put one my magnets. I'm on a team, and when we run this site, I play with my and I put my discs roughly around there. But I put these discs in a way that protect not only the shield, but the castle barricade that's right here. So if you can protect two things with one of my discs instead of just one, that's even better. And the reason you're able to do this is because, again, this very wide range of effect that these Wamai discs provide. So that's my second tip, is try to protect as many things as you can with one magnet. So a really good example of a good Wamai disc is right here. This covers both of these windows, instead of me placing one beneath both of the windows like that. This feeds into my next point, which is whenever you're placing one of my discs and you're putting more than one in a certain area, you don't want to stack them. This is because if they throw a grenade and it gets pulled straight into the disc and it blows up, it's going to blow up all the other one mys around it. So a good example of putting two discs that protect both of these windows from nading either this castle over here or the shield right here is putting one right here and then putting your second one right here and then maybe putting your third one right here a fourth one right here but all of those protect those two windows from grenades none of these also are able to grenade each other because this one is behind a surface that protects this one and these two these two are behind a marble surface that isn't bulletproof or explodable so just be thinking about if your wamais are able to explode other team gadgets or other wamai discs themselves so the next tip i'm going to give you is when to be placing your wamai discs 
the weird thing about Wamai is that he has a rechargeable ability. It means he doesn't spawn in with five discs, he spawns in with one, and then he has two, and then he has three over a period of time. Whenever you're on a site and you're prepping the site, you spawn in with one Wamai disc. You should put the Wamai discs down the furthest away from you first. Why is that? Well, if you're gonna be playing right here on Pixel, and you're setting up for site, and you put all your Wamai discs really close to you, one right here, one right here, one right there. Now, if anybody is gonna nade you from, let's say, the site window in a cocktail, or from Skylight right here, you can't get back to site because you're stuck wherever you're at. So you wanna be making the most use out of this rechargeable ability, and you wanna be giving yourself the Wamai Magnets very late into the round instead of giving your teammates across the map Wamai Magnets later into the round so you don't have to travel at all. Now, as you can see, he has a max of five Magnets. This was a nerf, he used to have more, but that just means you have to be using him more sparingly. And if you know that you and your teammates are going to be playing in one side of the map and the other side only has maybe one or two players there, you wanna use most of your magnets where you and the majority of players are because that's where the majority of grenades are gonna go. Also, you wanna be using your magnets on more utility than you do players. Let's say that I have a person sitting on the top of white stairs on these stacks right here and I have a player sitting on pixel, not me, and I have a player sitting behind like a mirror right here. The one person that's not at priority here is the stacks player. Why is it the stacks player? Because the Mira, even though she's still a player, she also has utility that other players can take over. So if the Mira dies, or if the person on the pixel shield dies, it's not the end of the world because another person can still rotate over there and use that utility. If the stacks player is protected by your grenades, it doesn't really matter because the grenade wasn't threatening any important piece of utility like deployable shields, like barbed wire, like bulletproof cams. So you want to be protecting utility with your mind magnets more than you want to be protecting players. I know it seems counterintuitive, but that's what you want to be doing. With that out of the way, that's it for the tip sections, and I'm going to move you on to some gameplay and show you how I would actually play him in-game and how you should be playing him going into ranked. Mother. So already I'm using my impact grenades to make rotates in the site and make it more maneuverable so that people can set up faster. But also, as you're about to see, I'm going to reinforce a lot of walls. As well, my, you have no setup to do, practically none. So you want to be reinforcing as many walls as possible. This goes for any anchor. No way I did. So another thing, I just put a well, my disc on that door that you saw me put it on. I'm not playing there. Nobody's playing there, but people like to send flash grenades through there. So people can then come in through the wall and get an easy plant down because nobody's in office. So I'm not going to play there, but I'm putting it down there first. Just less travel time and it's safer. Again, I'm not playing there, but common grenade spot, so I'm putting it there. Watch over mess. Also, you see me place well, my magnet right here. I want to put one above the door for my shield, obviously, but I put it in the very right corner so that it can't be shot through the window that's right here. Um, you're going to see me do the same thing. I'm going to put it in the top right of the window so they can't shoot it, but just be thinking about that. Also, now that I'm actually on my shield and I've given, you know, two to three with my disc off-site, I can then give myself with my disc to play off of so I don't have to travel back into office where it's unsafe and put them down later. Another tip as well, my, you're typically going to be anchoring because you're going to give your discs on-site for grenades. So you want to be helping out your teammates wherever you can while you're anchoring. Just anchoring in general, not even as well my, in the first like minute and a half of the round, maybe minute in general, you're not doing anything. You're just sitting in sight, putting your discs around, you know. So if your teammates are asking for help, go help them. I think Zofia is back. New, you can go for a huge flank right now. Go down center. So another tip, another tip as well my, is you want to be wasting time. Your job is not to get kills, it's to waste time. The reason for this being is because, like I said earlier, your well, my discs charge over time and they're not instantaneous. If you already had five well, my discs at your disposal, you could just set them down and do whatever you want, but you can't do that. So what I'm trying to do behind this piano shield is I'm not peeking, I'm not wide swinging, I'm not taking gunfights. I'm just biding my time and I'm making them come to me. That way I can have as much time from my discs to recharge so I can throw all of them out to keep that shield alive. As you see right now, anytime I hear them droning me, I peek to shoot the drone and I immediately come back to the shield. Yep. Play here, play here. Play here. Also, I was, I was on the bow. He's good. Shield, shield on the floor. Crazy, you're gonna die to display. Crazy. So I watched 
I watched the WAMI disc that I put up here go out. So instead of putting a WAMI disc in a completely new place, I just put it back in the same place that it was before. Um, just a rule of thumb, you can do that instead of trying to, you know, think about a new place. I was trying to play close on the shot, I didn't know she was in the corner. I thought she was Down to 15 seconds. I'm still playing no, piano. They're all piano, all piano. Oh. Let's go! So, as you saw, at the very end, I peeked my shield because, you know, your shield is good for info and for wasting time, but it's also good to peek off of. And I knew he was aggressing. He burned the gate. He burned my OIs. So, I also had a team behind me. I knew he could just play off my contact. So, I went in for the kill, and my teammate flanked, and luckily, we won the round. So, good example of playing OMI. I wasted so much time that they had to push within the last, like, 30 seconds of the round. And by that time, we had so many people in sight that it was too late. That is a perfect one my round. If you can waste time, you can waste utility and keep all your players alive. That is your sole purpose as one my.